Susanna Blacksill was an Australian, but I first met her in England when she was working in London and she had a, some exhibitions with a man called David Kerr. I think she's one of the most important of the botanical artists today and she lives now in Sydney. Currently she has um, her wonderful beetroot painting in the Shirley Sherwood Gallery and causes a stir wherever it goes. She said her family hated beetroot and never wanted to have to eat it again. Um, so that's probably the last beetroot painting. Now this one is quite, quite different. And I think the main thing about it is its wonderful composition. It's kelp. It's kelp, a kind of seaweed, which was found on the Sydney beach. And she spent ages trying to put it together into an interesting composition. This is the um, part of the kelp which would have been stuck to a rock. Um, and this is the part that would be floating three. She's painted it just beautifully and the subtlety of the colours is remarkable. She paints slowly and takes her a long time. She painted this in 2002. It probably took several months as she works with tiny brushes and builds up and builds up the watercolour. It's a wonderful composition and very interesting. I mean, some people don't even recognise it as kelp, but that's what it is. And there's quite a big seaweed and all around the coast of Australia, maybe not all around, but certainly around Sydney, there's big um, colonies of kelp. Um, and it has its own micro habitat. Whales come and chomp at it, um, and uh, particularly around South African coast, they're wonderful. Um, uh, it looks like seals coming up, but and you think, ah, the seals there in the water in the ocean. And of course it isn't, it's the kelp coming up and down with the tide um, and the waves. Uh, but this is quite, this is dried, um, dead and dried. Um, and I think she's made a very interesting painting of it. She's um, a very versatile artist. And in my collection, I have paintings of flowers, I have paintings of drawings, beautiful drawings, of huge outsized pairs. And um, of course, the memorable beetroot. <laughs>